guys, you miss me? I'm back, bitches. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. So this is just a quick video. Um, obviously, you can see what today is. So this is just a quick little video about some skincare because I haven't done a skincare video in a long time and I actually want to get a little more in depth about it. So I want to let you guys know what I use on my skin. Um, also, what I do seasonally because my skincare changes from season to season. It's not always the same throughout the whole entire year. And I've made some changes to my skincare products over the last year. So if you guys want to see that see how I get my skin looking as good as it looks it's not perfect but it's good enough to wear if I want if I got to walk around with no makeup on I'm secure I'm fine if you guys want to see that keep watching so first things first um I'm gonna put something on my lips because they're dry and that's because I held out until I was doing this video so the first thing I do, at some point I will um, do a video or I might have did one and just haven't filmed it yet. I mean, edited it yet. I can't remember. But at some point I will have a video showing how I clean my skin like after I'm taking off, when I'm taking off my makeup. Um, but this is just, just, this is just the after that part. So this is just after you don't wash your face. This is what I do to my skin. So when it comes to my lips, I use a lip scrub. This is Keep It Sweet. Sugar Lip Scrub by Milani. You can get it at the drugstore. That's if they still have it. I Honestly, I don't know if they still have it. Um, it comes in a little two-pack. I don't really use the balm, but I'll show you guys what the balm looks like, just for reference. But it's in the same kind of jar as the scrub. I, there's no particular reason that I don't use it. I just prefer what I like to use on my lips, um, which is this Vaseline. My husband actually put me on to this because I don't even remember what I was using anymore. But he uses these, the Lip Therapy by Vaseline. And I've been addicted and my lips have felt so much different ever since I started using these. So I put this on my lips. Sometimes I use this one. Same, same thing. It's just a different color. Doesn't have the Vaseline in it. Um, I mean the cocoa butter in it. So I just put that on. And if I'm going to wear lipstick, I'll take a little bit of this off before I put my lipstick on just so that you can, you know, just so that the lipstick goes on and stays on. So those are the first things I do for my lips. Then for my skin, I have not put anything on my skin yet. So this is how my face looks without anything on it. I had, I just took a shower um, after working out. So this is just how my skin looks right now. So during the winter, I was applying cocoa butter stick, you know, OG. I was applying that all over my face, which I am still going to do that. Make sure you have a stick that is specifically for your face. And I literally have been using this, especially under my eyes, just to make sure it doesn't get too dark um, under there. Also, sleep will help with that. Making sure you hydrate. You know, those are all obvious things, but um, I put the cocoa butter on. I do not rub it in yet, so this is just cocoa butter. During the winter months, I was using this Aveeno on my skin because my skin, when it started to turn fall, winter, my skin started to have this crazy reaction to the weather or the elements. I don't know. But it just started doing something crazy. So I started using this. Um, and this shit works wonders. Especially during the winter. Now that the weather is changing. Um, I'll be using something a little bit different. Um, so I'll be using my Jergens Natural Glow. This is another one that I've been using for years now. And I really just use this during the spring and summer. Don't really need that much. Just a little. Um, and I'm just going to put that. Mix that in with the cocoa butter. Get that all blended in. And then another thing that I will put on my skin, and that is because my skin had a weird little reaction um, recently. So I bought tea tree oil. I found out online that that is good for your skin. Um, if you're having any kind of issues with your skin, you can use tea tree oil and it has healing properties. And my nose was, 
my nose was hurting. I know this sounds weird, but literally my nose was hurting to the touch. It felt like I might have had a pimple under the surface that was trying to grow in or that was going to grow in. And when I started looking online about remedies for that, they said tea tree oil. So I had gotten this tea tree oil on Amazon and it's literally just tea tree oil. So it's very potent. So you have to dilute it with another oil. Um, so what I did was I would wash my face. Um, I used a toner. I used the witch hazel toner. And then I have this oil. My husband bought this from the lady at the airport. This stuff is so good. I forgot that I had it. And I have two of these, thank God, because this one's almost gone. But this has lemongrass, avocado, and coconut oil. Now, my hair does not like coconut oil, but my skin loves it. Um, well, my scalp doesn't like it. My hair strands is cool with coconut oil, but I cannot put coconut oil on my scalp. It will make my scalp feel like it's on fire. So that's just something I learned. Um, but anyway, I can use this on my face. So I use this to dilute the tea tree oil. I would put this on my face. I would take, you don't really need that much, about this much of that drop the tiniest bit because it's so potent and you'll feel it like your skin will start tingling and everything you'll feel it as soon as you apply it so i've been applying this on my face um especially when i'm not wearing makeup but i am going to put on some makeup but it's fine so um put this on you can start feeling it working on your skin right away and you know just trying to heal your skin so i've been using that the the pain in my nose stopped it doesn't hurt to the touch anymore. And so I'm just using that to kind of heal my skin right now. Okay. So I know I look like a greasy mess, but it's fine. I'm wearing makeup. I'm going to be setting my face with powder anyway. I'm really tripping about, you know, the looking kind of greasy. It's fine. So um, then the other thing I was doing was I was applying this by Neutrogena on my nose as well. And I was putting just a little bit of that. It is called Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel. Maximum strength benzoyl peroxide acne medicine reduces reduces size and redness in just two hours. I've been put I was putting this on my nose as well. Um, I'm not gonna do that now because I don't feel the pain or anything anymore. Um, so I'm just using the more of the home, you know, remedy type stuff. I'm not gonna use the the medication because the medication was kind of burning and making my skin a little itchy, but it helped, you know, so just only, only use it for what you need. Don't overdo it. So, um, that's pretty much, you know, what I was doing for my skin. So also for the rest of my body, I use, you know, I'll use some Vaseline lotion and then I'll go over it with some petroleum jelly. Come on now, y'all. Y'all better act like y'all know. I know black folks know. I know they know. I know they know. So this and this, you good. Or this stuff you can use on your face, your hair, your skin. Um, You can use this as well. You can actually put this on first when you get out the shower. And then put lotion over it. And then put this over it if you really want to like keep your skin hydrated. Um, I also have this that I love. I need to buy some more. It's almost gone. My Shout out to my girl, Kalisha, who gave this to me. But it's called Purple Passion. It's a natural hand-whipped shea butter by Perfume Chick at www.perfumechick.com. Hopefully her website is still up because if it is, I'm going to order some. This stuff is the bomb. It's a scented um, shea butter. And that helps you like smell good all day. So you can put it on. You can put you know whatever kind of oil you want to put on with it. And then, you know, spray your perfumes and your body sprays, you know, over top of it. And it helps you smell good all day. Um, I had some discoloration in some areas on my skin, even on my wrist. From wearing my watch a lot, I kept getting a dark spot right here on my wrist. And as you can see, it's really not there anymore. Uh, what I started doing there is I started putting um, petroleum jelly with cocoa butter around my wrist before I put my watch on. And that helped protect my skin from getting marks in it from wearing a watch all day. 
So that's just another tip for you guys. So another thing that I do is with my deodorant, I use Dove powder deodorant because I sweat like a motherfucker. So I use powder deodorant first. And then to smell extra good all day, I use this hint of lavender. This stuff right here, if you use it by yourself and you're like a sweater, it's not going to last. I'm telling you right now. It's not going to last. Like, I was putting this stuff on and I swear I was sweaty and smelling after a couple hours. But the stuff smells so good. What I did was I put on this first to help me with the sweating. And then I put this on top for the smell. You're welcome. So guys, that is it. This is not meant to be that long of a video. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I do to take care of my skin. I hope that this video gave you guys some tips. Let me know if any of them work. Um, if they don't, I mean, it's just trial and error. You know, everything ain't for everybody. But if anything did work, please let me know in the comments and I will check you guys out in the next video. If you want to see my makeup that I'm doing for St. Patrick's Day, check me out on Instagram because that's where it'll be posted. I'm not doing a tutorial on that. I will check you guys later. Bye.